Okay, continuing along with our technical setup, we're going to now create the audience inside of Facebook. We're just going to get that pixel added on the website uh, from Facebook so we can just start getting that, that data that we can use later on. All right, so let me, let's do this. Let me pull up, uh, click up. Uh, so here it is here. All right, so we've got the Facebook audience set up task inside of uh, the technical uh, setup area and right away we want to create a pixel for the category niche or niche depending on where you're from uh, if it doesn't already exist if you've never done this before then you will most certainly need to create a new pixel um, if you click on this link here i've also got it so we can uh, reference where to uh, create this pixel um, so actually let me pull that up and here we have various pixels that we've created in the past. And the way I like to do this is I like to create one pixel for pretty much the main category of whichever industry I, uh, I'm servicing. So let's say that I'm servicing, um, let's just say people who um, do pools, uh, swimming pools. So I would create one pixel and that would be for anything related to the pool business. And again, this is a pixel that we're installing on client sites, not your own agency site. Um, so in the case of uh, Color Bright Painting, it's a painting business, I'm gonna categorize that as home services because that can encompass a few different things that are pretty similar. And uh, we actually differentiate the traffic based on the URLs anyway. So the pixel, uh, you don't have to create one for each main category. I like to do it though because the pixel kind of gets smarter um, based on that information that you feed it. So uh, I'm going to click on add new data source and then click on Facebook pixel. And I'm going to change the name here to home services pixel. Uh, home services I'm going to say for clients pixel. I'm not going to enter a website URL. It's not necessary right now. And then click continue. And then uh, I'm going to manually add this pixel code to the website. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to copy this code right here. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to go over to the back end of our client, Color Bright Painting. And let's go back into settings, insert headers and footers. And I'm just going to add this to the bottom of where we've been inserting scripts. And it's going to stay in the header. So I'm going to save that. All right. Um, and then I'm going to go back over here to Facebook. And I'm just going to click continue right now. I'm not going to worry about this. Just continue. I'm just going to actually click cancel. We don't have to worry about the event setup of it right now. Uh, it's not necessary. All right, so we have this pixel created now. So the next thing we want to do is click on create audience. And then we're going to click on custom audience. All right, so we have to add, assign this pixel to an ad account in Business Manager settings. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to assign this pixel by clicking on Home Services for Clients pixel, Add Assets, and I'm going to select our company and then add it that way and then click Done. And go back over here and let's just click cancel and then do the same thing again custom audience all right i need to refresh the page let's just refresh this real fast all right then i can click on create audience custom audience and now we have our ad account here we'll select that click next and we haven't gotten any data yet because as you recall, we haven't given it a URL. Um, so what I'm going to do is click on all website visitors, change that to uh, people who visited a specific web page. 
contains, we'll leave that and we're just going to copy the root, meaning not the full address. I just like to use the domain name itself. So colorbrightpainting.com, exactly like that. Paste that in. So you can see it doesn't include HTTP, HTTPS or www, none of that. All right. Um, I'm going to leave this first one at 30 days and I'm going to name this color bright painting all traffic 30d for 30 days um, so what this means is anyone who visited visits uh, the color bright painting website whether it's the main page or any inner page as long as it contains colorbrightpainting.com we're going to capture them with this pixel all right so I'm going to create that audience And then click done. And I'm actually going to create another audience also for color bright painting. And it's going to be people who visited specific web page. Again, same thing, colorbrightpainting.com. This time I'm going to set the duration for 180 days. So it extends that, and that's the max that you're allowed to actually save an audience uh, pixeled. So this means that anyone who visits my website from now forward or visits colorbrightpainting.com from now forward, I will have that data stored in this pixel for them for 180 days. All right, so I'm going to name this color bright painting all traffic 180D. All right, and then I'm going to create that audience and click done. Let's go back over to ClickUp and just kind of follow along. So let me go back. All right, so we created the pixel for the category niche. Yes, we did. Close that. Add the pixel into the website header. Yes, we did that. Um, add the pixel ID into AMP settings. So we need to do that because AMP's a little different in the way it handles these pixels. But first, I want to get the um, pixel ID from Facebook. So here's the pixel code that we just added. You want to look here for this line where it has INIT. I'm going to grab this right here. That is the pixel. And actually, you can do the same thing over here in Facebook. If you copy the pixel ID, you could just copy that. You can see it starts with two, three, ends in nine, zero, right? Let's go back. Starts with two, three, ends in nine, zero. So that's our Facebook pixel. Um, and then I want to find, where is it, AMP. So AMP, and then under settings, let's see. All right, uh, let's find it. Uh, might be under analytics actually let's see yes all right so under analytics we're gonna formatting looks a little weird right now for the plugin but it should still work if i click on this little toggle you can see it just open this up here so i'm just going to paste make sure there's no spaces so now it stores that pixel id so now this will fire on amp sites as well all right so let's just save these changes and move on to the next step uh, so let me just check this off. So we added that and saved it, closed. We created an audience based on all traffic within 180 days. Uh, so let me just show you the audiences uh, that we created. Um, so if I go to, uh, that's the easiest way to get there. I think from here, yeah, audiences. So we can see that we have uh, created the color bright painting audience for all traffic within 180 days and another one for all traffic within 30 days. Uh, this will come into play a bit later on. The main thing is that the pixel is working. We can see it's green. That means that it's firing based on um, actually opening colorbrightpainting.com. It tracked us. Um, so now we are, we're, we're good to go with that. 
uh, and this will come into play later on as we start doing some ads and things like that uh, in more advanced videos. Uh, but for now, so we'll, we're, we're tracking, we did a 180 day audience and we also did the 30 day audience. Uh, okay, so we are all set with our Facebook audience and um, if there's any doubt, you can always go to the website and load up. Uh, I like to use a Chrome extension here called Facebook Pixel Helper. If you click on it, it shows you the pixel right there. All it really does though is it's a quick reference to viewing the source code. So if I wanna right click, view page source, and then just look up uh, Facebook, uh, let me see. So yeah, we've got the pixel here, so it's working. All right. Um, so we are all set with that. Uh, yeah, uh, nothing else to do for this. The audience is set up for Facebook and we'll, uh, we'll be using this information later on. All right, I'll see you in the next video.